And I had this throwaway comment. I said, these other things like possessions and pleasure and power, trying to satisfy yourself that way is like eating junk food. And I was thinking about that afterwards. I was thinking, do you know what? It's not just junk food. It's Doritos. (laughs) That these things are like Doritos. Do you know why? Because when you have one Dorito, what do you, how many do you have to have then? The whole bag. Once you have one Dorito, you just can't, I can, at least I can't stop. They're so salty and good. Then I got thinking about Doritos and I realized, do you know what? They have a brand of Doritos for every one of these three. First of all, possessions. Doesn't everybody want a cool ranch? You know, like a, an awesome house filled with cool stuff. So I thought, you know, when I, when I get hungry, you know, all right. Then how about pleasures? When I thought of pleasures, I thought of sweet chili heat. Because some pleasures are very sweet and others get a little hot. So, sweet chili heat. But then when I thought of power, I thought of bold barbecue. Because, you know, you know it's a guy thing, right? If you're going to take over the world, you're going to do it with a barbecue, right? You're going to be bold. So, once I have one of these things, I just want more. Is that true? So sometimes, you know, if I start trying to feed my identity and my sense of security, if I have, start going down the path of cool possessions, I just want more. Or maybe it's pleasure, and whether they're sweet pleasures or hot pleasures. I want more. Or if it's taking over the world, you know, I want it, those power moves, they're going to be bold. I'm going to want more. I got to think about, when Jesus comes and says, you know what, if you fill your lives with that stuff, maybe not now, but in time, you'll come to ruin. It's not going to go well. The doctor's going to tell you it's not going to go well. So we have to confront this appetite that we have that once we've got this whole thing going, We have to put the brakes on and find out how do we empty our attachments, our cravings for these things. Empty that out of our hearts. Again, as we look at Jesus, his first words in those stanzas, all of the words refer to what's inside of us, not what's outside of us. Are we poor in our spirit? Are we detached in our spirit? Are we mourning our pleasures in our hearts? Are we meek? Have we bridled? Have we submitted that lust for power? Are we broken in our hearts? They're all internal. And then even if you think about the hungering and thirsting, hungering and thirsting is internal. It's something in the heart. Are we truly hungering and thirsting in our hearts for God's right way of living? 